So this is quite interesting. It's a new film examining the relationship between hormonal birth control and women's health. It's called The Business of Birth Control. So the documentary will be at the IFC starting tomorrow. You'll be able to stream, stream it starting April 8th. Joining us this morning, the legendary talk show host, friend of Good Day New York, Ricky mm -hmm. Link, who is the exe executive producer of this film. Nice to have you back on Good Day. How are you? I'm amazing. I'm so happy to be in New York, and it's really a big deal. Tonight's our premiere of The Business of Birth Control. It's a movie I've worked on for six years with my director wow. and partner, Abby Epstein. We're also doing a double feature tonight, and we're screening The Business of Being Born, which is my very first documentary that came out 15 years ago. So it's kind of a bookended night, and I'm super excited to, so, to be here. So, Ricky, I remember when you did The Business of, of uh birthing, um, being born, you, a lot of people thought at the time it was a little kooky about advocating right for home, <laughs> home birthing. And now of course, everybody, mm -hmm. you know, is interested in doing that. Yeah. This I was ahead of my time. You were ahead <laughs> of your time, Ricky, for sure. So now you're taking on birth control. W was there something personal that was involved here? Like what, why did you decide to do something like this? All of these projects stem from a little bit of my personal story. Certainly the business of being born was is my story of having my two children, one in a hospital setting and one at home, and really exploring birth options. In this case, I mean, I definitely have an experience of being on, on hormonal birth control for more than two decades, and I struggled with hair loss, and I see that as a definite contributing factor to my situation. But the movie just is about choice. It's about informed choice. We want people to have access to all of these options, but we want more options. Do you think that we have not been given enough information when it comes to birth control? No, we have not. And I think, you know, people that watch the movie, their head explodes. There is mm. so much that you learn from the history of the pill, the testing that was done on, on women of color. Um, it's, it's fascinating. And for me personally, the thing that blew my mind more than anything is that it changes your pheromones. When you're on hormonal birth control, it changes who you're attracted to, which, I mean, it's so loaded. Can you imagine? Like, we what? choose our partner. And if it's if it's affected by these drugs, I mean, it's just it's just a lot to take to take in. Wow. Well, we do have a clip of it. Uh, let's play that for our viewers. Okay. There's a sweaty T-shirt study that you can choose a good mate based on smell, but if you are on the pill, that sort of mechanism seems to be offline. We're seeking out the mate that will offer us the most genetic diversity. If you're a woman and you've ever smelt your partner, like after they're working out at the gym and you're like, oh, that smells so good. <laughs> when they're a little bit stinky, they're expressing their MHC complex and it's giving your brain and your entire body data about their immune system and about their genetic compatibility with you. That is so wild. Wow. Uh, wow. Right? It's science. It's science. So it's something, you know, I never considered and I know so many women, you know, we go to our doctor and we're lucky if we get five minutes with them and there's just yeah. so much to consider when we go on these drugs. And I want people to just have the information to make an educated choice about their bodies and their reproductive health. So, Ricky, you know, you talk about the pill. I mean, it's been around for generations after generations after generations. I think just about all of us have been on it at one time or another. But not much has changed about the pill. Hmm. No, it's our grandmother's pill. It really hasn't changed. They, they repatented it, and it's actually become more dangerous. There's more blood clots that happen now with the new generations. You know, we, we talk about fertility awareness method in the film, which is, you know, scientific, and it's non-hormonal, and it's just as effective. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really, this film is really, like, I think a tool for, for, for women to get educated about all of their options yeah. when it comes to, to controlling their fertility. I do have to ask because human trials are going to be expected this year for the male birth control pill, which is 99% effective. And to me, I'm just like, what? so they say, so they say, and yes, so far on mice, it looks really promising. But the question is, will men take a pill? Because mm -hmm. honestly, you know, what we would subject ourselves to, the side effects that we put ourselves through, men yeah. wouldn't tolerate it. Huh. You, you got a point there. So yeah. listen, are the critics coming after you? Because we know, <laughs> we know how they can be. <laughs> Well, I mean, I say, I'm, I bring it on. You know, I come from a place, I'm not an expert, I'm not a doctor, but I am someone that has done the research, I've had my own experience, and I love that I get to make these films that, that, that change, you know, the system. You know, with mm. what we've done 15, 15 years after the business of being born, so much has changed. You know, when we, when we first did that film, no one knew what a doula was. Now everyone's clamoring for doulas. I think, um, you know, it's just, it's a lot of food for thought, and I'm super proud of these projects, and I'm so happy to bring it to New York, and I hope everybody will come. Come tonight, 
come this weekend. We're doing Q&As after the showings, and uh, I hope to see everyone there. I love it. Um, hey, by the way, I know you talked about losing your hair. Your hair looks fabulous. Mm, oh, thank you so, so much. Yeah, I, I shaved my head in grand fashion two years ago. I was struggling uh, really, really badly with hair loss, and I use this product, this, uh, this amazing product that I've partner with. I'm an ambassador for her clinic and it's really helped me to get my hair back to its healthiest. And right. I love this is my natural color. Wow. I no longer color my it. hair. I'm I embracing my gray. I'm I'm 53 and a half and I've I in many ways I've never felt better. Hey, would your husband ever smack somebody over uh, talking about your <laughs> bald head? Uh, no, he wouldn't. Violence is never the answer. I used to say that on my show every day for 11 years. No, he wouldn't. But I also I also I empathize with Jada and, and what that is like to go through as a woman, to go through what's traumatizing. Um, but still, what he did was completely unconscionable and, mm. and uncalled for. All right. Well, listen, Ricky Lake, always great talking to you. Hopefully next time. I love time, you. Send my love to your family. I will. Next time, a big hug in person, okay? Yes, please. And good luck. Well. Good luck at the IFC. Thank you. Thank you.